clearly the yellow means a lot. We didn't do any marketing. The closest thing we did to marketing was back in the, probably the late 80s, I would say, when vanity plates came out. My dad spent the $10 to have a plate that said Carmex on his car. We're a family-owned business, and so the business kind of reflects the personality of the owners. I joined the company in 1991 after being an art teacher for 10 years. As an art teacher, um, you're creative. Uh, anything is possible. If, if they told me you can make, you know, pigs fly, the average person will go, no you can't. And, and an art teacher will say, hmm, I wonder how we're gonna make those wings. My grandfather worked at a department store in Milwaukee. It was called Freedman's on uh, 3rd Street, which is Martin Luther King Drive near North Avenue. He had an eighth grade education. He was a cosmetics buyer, making a, a very good living. And the depression came along, and he lost his job. He thought, you know, I, I make this product for myself, this, this stuff that we now call Carmex. mix it in a 12-quart pot. Stir it up, pour it by hand, let it cool down, cap it, put the paper labels on it. At that time, there were thousands of little independent pharmacies. And we grew strictly by word of mouth. I liked riding, but I like what bikes look like, and I have kind of a particular warm spot for Harley's being the local company. That got me thinking, really, why not do an antique bike? And so the first one I bought is this one here, which is a 1948 Indian. And then I found a 49 Harley, and if you have two of anything, you have a collection, so. We're the one company now that's committed 100% to lips. We buy the best ingredients possible, and it's a complex formula. It's part of that distinctive smell. When you open up a jar, you get that cooling, that's, that's the menthol camphor that you're smelling. One of my dad and grandfather's philosophies is if you completely automate the place and get rid of people, then who's left to buy the, the product? That's again part of being committed to the area. We like it here. Again, it's entirely family owned. Our life is here and our employees' lives are here. It's our heritage. My brother and I could sell this company. We could retire for the rest of our lives. But we don't. We like being here. We like making the products so and stewardship over the quality of the product. We're an odd company. We have a pipe organ in here. We have Christmas parties, and, and I don't think anybody would continue that. And our customers, they expect a particular quality product. It's a legacy, it's our legacy. Yeah. To tell the truth, we don't worry too much about politics in the big picture. We just kind of come in, turn on the machines, make Carmex, and, and you realize when gee, a lot of people know the name. One of our employees said, we're putting uh, the name Carmex on people's lips around the world. As people begin to see the marketing, they'll then begin to realize that we're here.